Hello and welcome to Bowtie Life, where we talk mostly about life in the garden. And I'm Bowtie David, and we live in Destin, Florida, Zone 9B. Today we're going to do a very quick video on bottom watering. Uh, coming up, we also have more garden beds to prepare out there. We are doing some direct sowing of seeds. I might be doing some more indoor seed starting, but I'm not sure about that yet. But either way, be sure to subscribe to Bowtie Life on YouTube uh, if you have not already done so, so you don't miss a thing. Videos do come out on YouTube first. To those of you who have subscribed, you are my heroes. You have made Bowtie Life what it is today, and I thank you. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. So watering these seeds, and we have just planted all these seeds. If you haven't seen those videos, you can go back to the previous uh, videos. There will be links in the upper left-hand corner uh, in the cards. That's the little letter I in the circle that goes to the playlist of all these videos. At the end of the video, in the closing sequence, there's also a link in the lower left corner. And I'll, there will be links on the right side to other videos in the series. But I have planted all these seeds. This is all basil. These are all peppers. These are all tomatoes. And we're about to water these for the first time. And I just wanted to show you real quick. Now, my first gut response when I started this was just take my watering can and just dump water on top of these plants. And I fortunately did learn at a pretty early point that that can be difficult on the plant. So there are small seeds underneath this soil right here. If I just dump in here and there happens to be a little cavity of air, that seed could fall down deeper in into the soil or it could be floated up to the top and die. So we want that to happen as less as possible. Another thing, if you're talking about a plant like this and you water from above like an irrigation system, Stuff can bounce up from the soil and get on the leaves and it can cause actually various diseases and difficulties with your plant, make little brown spots and get stuff on the leaves that's not healthy for it, make infections in the plant. And that's not that great. So it's very simple as to what we do. You can see here close up, this is our tree of tray of basil and peppers. Basil over here, peppers over there. Again, you pour on here, you run the risk of displacing the seed or whatnot, so all we do is we come in here and underneath, I put in here about, oh, I don't know, half an inch to three quarters of an inch of water. Not, it doesn't need to be a full inch, but you can see here, I do put half an inch in, and that will actually sit in there for, has maybe a little bit more. I'll leave that sit in here for an hour or two. The soil will wick up into the soil as much water as it needs. Once that happens, and the top will start appearing moist, once that happens, you can then go back and dump the water out of the bottom of that tray. I'll just pull a corner out and just kind of dump it into another bucket and go on. And I can do that every once in a while just to keep the soil moist. Now, this table is not level. It's actually going down that direction, so that water at that end is a little deeper. I'll turn the tray around and so forth. My shelves indoors where I put these things are level. I have them very specifically level so that I can drop a quarter inch of water in there and it'll make all of them wet. Now this other tray is just a little bit different because these cups aren't quite sitting down flat. Plus the tray has a tendency to keep these cups off of the bottom of the tray. So I'll end up putting more water in here. Now these things don't have but about the same depth of soil as was in those seed starting trays. And I will end up putting most of this gallon of water in here. And I'll just do this without the tray in it so you can see how much I put in here. But I'll put in a significant amount. And of course you gotta be careful when you're moving these things around. This soil will wick up this water pretty quickly. You gotta keep an eye on this when you're doing this. It will wick up fairly fast and you won't have to be in here quite as long. I can actually see the water coming up into these vacant spots. So this will be good. This is a good start. We're, uh, we're moving right along here now. So I will just leave that, pull it out, dump the water here in probably about 10, 20 minutes 
And when the soil is nice and moist, that soil will wick up as much as it needs. What's gonna happen is when you dump out that soil, it's actually, I'm sorry, when you dump out that water from the bottom, it's going to drain just a little bit of that water and get itself perfect. This soil will hold exactly the amount of water that it needs to germinate. And it's nothing special about the soil, it's just the way the earth works. So the very last thing to mention here is the moisture dome. And this is just a standard moisture dome that comes with these heavy trays. You're going to cover this. This is actually going to hold moisture in here inside and not evaporate quite as fast, which is really good for your seedlings. Helps them germinate faster. Now, this moisture dome is temporary. Those little seedlings are gonna start popping up. As soon as half of them are popped up, you no longer need this. Maybe a little over half, it just make a judgment call. But once they start germinating and little green leaves start popping up, you take this off and use it on the next tray that you're planting up. So that's all there is about the watering of the seed start. Next video, I will be talking about my light setup. Very simple, you'll, you'll see here in the next video. So thank you for following along today, watching this video. Those of you who have subscribed, as I mentioned earlier, to Bowtie Life on YouTube, you're my heroes. You've helped make Bowtie Life what it is today. We're working on growing the channel to the next level. Once we reach that point, we'll be able to do so much more. One of the first things I'm doing is I'm getting a microphone. Very excited about that. For those of you just finding Bowtie Life on YouTube for the first time, this is my personal journal of everything going on in the garden. With my ADD brain, I have uh, tried journaling, I've tried the apps, I've tried photography. These videos really speak to me and keep my brain on task in the garden. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to Bowtie Life on YouTube because that's uh, where things come out first. You don't want to miss what's going on in the garden as I literally document everything I can. Another way you can help grow the channel is click thumbs up on this video. And of course, uh, share this video on your social media with friends who might be getting excited about starting their new garden this year. So look for the next video coming out. It will be a brief look at my lighting setup and then we will we'll be going on with other stuff in the garden. On the closing screen, lower left hand corner will be a link to the playlist of all the spring 2024 seed starting videos in order and i'll also link to a couple on the left on the right side of the screen as well y'all have a blessed day mm -hmm.